and uh, now we are going live yes uh, We are live now. Okay. Good evening, dear students. Forum to enjoy English language and RS Munle Dharampet Arts and Commerce College welcome you to this BCom uh, English Semester One online lecture series. And in this lecture series, Yesterday, we took email writing. We have already finished two prose units, one poem unit, and now we, we are doing the writing skill, okay? Yesterday, we did the email, and today we are going to study how to write speeches. Today, we have with us an expert, another expert in English from RTM Nagpur University. She's a very uh, industrious, lady and a very hardworking, committed individual. Let me introduce you to her academic achievements. So Dr. Renuka Roy is currently working as an assistant professor of English in SK Porval College, Kamti. She has 14 years of teaching experience at the undergraduate level and she has also taught PG students as a guest speaker. She was awarded her PhD degree in 2017 and her topic was a critical study of women characters in selected novels of V.S. Naipaul. Madam has published research papers in different peer-reviewed journals of great repute like Literary Criterion, The Interior, Senecal and Rupakatha Journal, etc. She has also given oral presentations of her research work at national and international level during conferences, seminars, and webinars. She has published her papers as chapters in books published by national level publishers. Her area of interest in the feminist, uh, her area of interest is the feminist study, diasporic literature, and Indo-Caribbean studies. Madam is a soft skill trainer too, and she gives excellent presentations on interview techniques and personality development. So we'll be inviting her for these also. Madam is actively involved in different cells and committees in her college and takes keen interest in developing students' language skills, especially in English. And Madam has performed the tasks related to examination assigned to her from time to time, like question paper setting, assessment of answer papers, moderation of question papers, etc. She has done several uh, orientation and refresher courses under the auspices of UGC HRDC Center and Center of MHRD to hone her skills in teaching and learning English. She considers herself a lifelong learner and an ac academician. So yes, we are fortunate to have uh, Dr. Renuka Roy with us and over to Dr. Renuka and she'll be dealing with speeches, how to write speeches. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Majishri, Madam. And I congratulate uh, R.S. Munle Dharampet Arts and Commerce College for this wonderful endeavor. Uh, the, an initiative taken by Dr. Manjushri Deshpande, who is herself a very innovative and very hardworking lady. And we really respect her for her incessant uh, work that she uh, undertakes in different fields, not only in the academics. We have seen her. She is very social. She has done wonderful work in curriculum design, especially in Balbharti, and now at university level also. We congratulate uh, you, madam, for your uh, efforts, for your hard work. And now moving on to uh, my area, which I'm going to deal with today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, speeches, especially 
to the students of BCom Part 1. Uh, and uh, teaching uh, speeches is extremely important for the students of uh, first year, first semester, first year students, because uh, this area has never been dealt with earlier. And uh, the students now who are coming into the real life experiences through different activities in the colleges, they have to make speeches at several pro in several programs at several occasions. So now uh, allow me to share my screen so that with the help of the presentation, I'll be more elaborate in teaching this area. I request my technical assistant to share the screen. Yes. Uh, is it visible? My screen is visible, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. So today we are going to deal with uh, speeches, which comes under the area writing skills unit four in the revised syllabus of uh, BCom semester one. Uh, I welcome you all to my session. Uh, speeches. Now, uh, student friends, we have seen that we need to make speeches at several occasions, on several occasions. Got some more. Anywhere, keep it anywhere. Huh? Yes. Uh, let us see when when do uh, when are we expected to make uh, speeches uh, at some seminars uh, during some farewell program and uh, we have to make presentations in family functions also in inaugural during inaugural ceremony and celebrations if we are promoting certain cause at that time also we have to give some short speeches and uh, uh, sometimes we have to make motivational speeches also. So uh, it is very easy to talk about speeches, but it is equally uh, uh, meticulous and equally important to make a systematic uh, arrangement, systematic preparation for giving a successful presentation or successful speech. Hmm. Now, what are the things that we have to look into when we are giving some speech? First and foremost thing, I would like to say that the most important thing for giving a successful and good speech is to prepare, prepare and prepare. There is no alternative to hard work. There is no alternative to preparedness. Even today, after so many years of teaching experience, we work hard, we prepare for four to five hours before we go for a single class. In, in the similar way, student friends, you also have to understand this fact that in order to deliver a good speech, the first and foremost thing that you need to do is to go in for a wonderful and a really fruitful and focused hard work and preparation. These are some of the points that are available in your textbook also and that I have jotted down here and I'm going to explain it in detail. Preparing your speech needs to require a writer or the speaker to understand the subject matter that you're going to deal with. For example, if you are going to speak about environmental consciousness or save environment or uh, say no to plastic, these kind of topic. So you have to understand your subject well. You need to research on your subject, read various magazines, find out data, find out material from the internet and prepare your subject well. Your content, if you are very good at delivery, if you are very good at speaking, but you do not have substantial con content with you, you will not be able to deliver it well. So you have to understand the subject and at the same time, you need to have a proper uh, homework of your subject. You have to collect material, you have to prepare material for your, for your speech. Second point that you need to uh, find out is who are your target audience? 
whether you're going to speak in front of your colleagues, your classmates, your friends, whether you are speaking during some formal occasion, where whether you are speaking for some elocution competition, or whether you are giving you are going going to give your speech during a debate competition. Who are your target audience? For whom you are speaking? Aap kis ke liye baat kar rahe ho? Or whether your your presentation is going to be in front of some professionals or some students, small kids. Depending on your audience, your material has to be prepared, right? Like if you are going to deliver a motivational speech for some under uh, for some uh, some of your friends or some school going students you have to use some quotations you have to take example of some uh, leaders you have to write in that way you have to use uh, some good illustration you have to take some anecdotes that means examples so that way your motivational speech will be very fruitful very good so you need to understand who are your target audience like uh, for example if a person professional in a bank is giving a presentation in front of his manager so he has to make presentation of all the related documents he has to be very clear with the analysis he has to keep his presentation ready so this will be preparation on his side third important point is the tone tone of your presentation like for example i am going to present i am presenting today in front of my student silent kunda in front of my students so my tone is here i am teaching them a little bit didactic sometimes i am trying to make some things are things clear in the similar manner if i am going to teach uh, some this kind of topic like how to speak in front of uh, people to students of nursery kg1 kg2 i'll be doing it in more activity based way, way more play way method i'll use my tone will be more friendly gentle so your tone changes as per the occasion third fourth point is that writing down the speech which is absolutely expected from you also from your examination point of view because our examination are based on uh, our uh, your uh, capability is evaluated based on how you write down your examination paper so from examination point of view also you need to know how to write a successful and a very good speech and you need to in your real life also you need to jot down the speech that you are going to deliver you have to practice it over and over again in front of mirror in front of some audience in front of your family members your peers but before that you have to write down your speech very well writing down becomes the first step of success of your going of your speech in the longer run so when you become uh, an accomplished speaker when you are quite practiced so you need not write down in detail you need not write each and every word you need not prepare a complete script then only jotting down the points can help you to deliver a successful lecture but as a learner as a beginner you need to write down the complete script of your speech that you wish to deliver jo speech aap dena chahte ho uska pura script aapko likhna zaruri hai as a beginner you cannot take risk okay so as a beginner you have to write down your uh, script that we will see in the coming slides that I'll, i'm going to teach you in detail in coming slides visual aids visual aids are what some audio visual help some presentation some video clipping some photograph that you wish to show during the presentation or during your speech in order to 
uh, substantiate your view in a, in order to give emphasis to what you are going to say or in order to what we can say divert attention of your listeners from monotonous speech to something interesting for example during uh, if you are talking about environmental consciousness and you are complete talking complete uh, continuously talking about the consciousness we are talking about the statistic data how many trees are cut every year this uh, listeners will get bored at some time so if you in the middle of your speech show some so sh uh, can show some animation animated film can show some so, uh, show some documentary film so that will develop interest in the viewers so some kind of change in their focus can once again boost them to focus on your point um, uh, with new vigor and vitality okay and that will also you will also get relaxation you can also uh, have some relaxed time when you can have some have, have a sip of water or you can just relax you can also think over how to how you are going to um, uh, how you are going to present your next point so use of visual is of great help it is not it not only emphasizes and reinforces your point it also help you capture the attention of your listeners it also help you get some relaxed moment to think about your next stage of delivery handouts what are handouts handouts are small notes you may not carry the entire script of your lecture with you but you can carry small cue cards in which you can jot down points aap usme points jot down karo and so that that can help you remember the points that you might miss out during some uh, during your presentation out of nervousness or out of excitement so handouts are extremely important but your handout should not be too stuffy with information they should not be very bulgy and you can carry some extra handouts for your listeners also you can carry some printouts for your listeners for your uh, audience and you can distribute it to them but remember that keep an extra handout for yourself to refer to it from time to time during your presentation another important point that i need to point out here is practice your presentation well Hmm. and earlier when we used to teach body language we used to always talk about and a presentation skill we used to always talk about one technique which is called as alexandrian technique which is practicing in front of mirror when you practice in front of mirror you are seeing yourself you rears in front of you so you can see your body language how you are making eye contacts how well you are presenting yourself all these things can be sort out by practicing in front of mirror that is using alexandrian technique and second one is practice in front of your peers that is your friends when you practice in front of your friends they give you feedback and that help you enhance your um, skill further that can improve your presentation skill about your pace you should not be what is pace pace matlab aapki gati kya hai aap kaise ja rahe ho how you are moving about whether you are going very fast in your speech or whether you are very slow thinking taking too many pauses hmm? how is your pace so some may here time people feel that speaking fluently is speaking very fast i completely disagree speaking fluently is not speaking very fast speaking fluently is speaking correctly with proper intonation voice modulation proper pauses and stress at proper pauses so you have to understand at what pace you need to talk if you are going to give some motivational speech then of course you need to have some speed some momentum in your speech 
if you are just describing giving seminar of your subject in front of your friends in front of your teacher during some presentation so so you should have proper speed when you will give uh, you, you will have uh, allotted timing for the for showing graphs for showing your results analysis so proper speed has to be maintained okay so i hope uh, we have covered this preparation of the speech this this will definitely help you if you are going to make practical presentations okay this we will browse a little bit faster uh, tips for the day that means tip for the day of your presentation what you need to do you need to these are some of the preparation key to preparation that is dress up properly formally most probably formally dress up kariye aap acche se for the girls formal dress up dressing up is wearing some decent dress hmm, official dresses or some decent salwar kurti huh? and for the boys it is proper shirt pant all this proper dressing up is to be done keep all the important things handy boys pen notes handbook handouts marker pen etc all these things are extremely uh, important and they need to be kept handy uh, arrive early at the venue you start early on that day so that you need you can check out with the instruments in the venue you can find out whether the mics are working properly whether the place where you are going to stand and give lecture it is ready who are your audience all these things uh, are of great value drink some water before you start your lecture and keep a bottle of water with you so that you can sip from it from time to time if you feel that your throat is getting dry relax and take a deep breath if you feel that you are nervous before making presentation for a new presenter they can get nervous my advice will be relax before you start making presentation take deep breath and at the time of presentation if you at all make any mistakes there is nothing wrong in apologizing for that i remember that during my college days i was asked to give a vote of thanks um, during mahatma phule jayanti and i in that nervousness i said dr mahatma phule and my principal in gbish college amravati she was a great orator she was a learned lady of marathi dr david she pointed out that i didn't know when mahatma phule got phd so it was very nervous moment for me very embarrassing so these things they happen you know with even confident speakers also some hiccups are there but best way is to be uh, if is to apologize frankly say sorry to your audience and just move ahead don't get nervous for small mistakes uh, simple blunders it may happen with very uh, good speakers also at the end of your speech you must thank the organizers and the audience for giving a chance for interaction so you should always thank the audience for patient listening that we will see how to phrase such sentences how to frame such sentences that we will see in the in our presentation without wasting much of your time we will now move our, move ahead towards structuring a speech how to write down how to structure a speech like any kind of composition when we compose uh, an essay when we write down small paragraph when we write some dialogues dialogue writing any kind of composition it has a beginning it has a middle and it has an end it should be a composite whole wo kaisa hona chahiye koi bhi tarah ka composition kya hona chahiye complete hona chahiye apne aap mein it should be composite whole aapka speech acche se shuru hona chahiye it should have proper body maine aapko content ke bare mein pehle hi bataya content of your uh, speech is uh, can be prepared only through your homework only through your speed work 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप बात कर रहे हो एडवर्टाइजमेंट के बारे में बूंस एंड बैंड यूजेस एंड एब्यूज ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट तो आपको उस विषय पे पहले पूरी जानकारी यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी एंटायर थिंग ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट वाई इट इज डन वॉट आर इट्स एडवांटेजेस एंड डिस एडवांटेजेस वॉट इज योर ओपिनियन वॉट इज योर सजेशन ये आपको पूरा लिखना है now among the students this nowadays if they are discussing about the pandemics so what is this pandemic all about what is corona virus when it has started covid 19 hmm, how all over the globe people are getting affected what are the uh, pros and cons of uh, this disease now what are the future prospects all this study has to be done if a, before a students go uh, dares to or before a students i'll use the word before you a student prepares himself to talk on the issue like covid 19 or corona virus or pandemic so aapko kya karna hai you have to do a lot of homework lot of sped work hmm, uh, before you start uh, uh, for for making a good speech end while ending your speech you have to summarize hmm you have to summarize your uh, what we can say speech well hmm? discuss your conclusion in brief and thank the organizer and audience for their patient listening so these are three points i will uh, i would like to browse once again uh, greet your audience at the beginning then introduce yourself this we will see in detail talk about your speech what you are going to deal with today we are going to talk about this hmm? ये आपको बोलना है और आपको स्पीच राइटिंग में ये लिखना है टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू राइट अबाउट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस थिंग यू हैव टू राइट डाउन ओके देन योर स्पीच मेन बॉडी ऑफ योर स्पीच शुड हैव थ्री टू फोर डिस्टिंक पॉइंट दैट यू नीड टू इलेबोरेट सब्सटेंशियली लॉजिकली एंड योर स्पीच शुड बी स्ट्रक्चर लॉजिकली दैट मीन्स इट शुड हैव अ प्रॉपर बिगिनिंग मिडल एंड एंड begin by talking about the problem you talk about the problem that you are going to deal with for example you are talk, talking about the increasing traffic huh? and importance of traffic rules and regulations you talk about this and you go on giving some suggestions you offer solutions that if you do not observe the traffic rules what can be the outcome of it what can be the damages to you how can you um, uh, how you must look at the pro problem of all this uh, what you can say mismanagement in traffic to so, is tarah se aapko ko pura likh kar rakhna hai and finally you have to summarize recap discuss the important point in the conclusion and thank the organizers and the audience moving on to the language of the speech when we we are speaking written language and spoken language both things are different okay and when we talk to our friends we are very informal you say hello everyone how how are you buddy uh, what's going on i have seen i have noticed that the students writing the composition in the during the examination they use the language that they use every day while talking to their friends so while talking to your friends you are talking colloquial language boli bhasha aap use kar rahe ho chalti bhasha use kar rahe ho while writing down you can you have to use formal language aapko formal language likhna hai but that language should be used while talking formally when we are talking how do we talk formal speech matlab kya hota hai for example if you are talking to your teacher can you say that how are you buddy what's going on what's up can you say that no you have to say good morning madam i am so and so i am studying in this class i wish to know about this you have to talk formally this is your formal speech so while writing your speech you have to use language that is spoken but at the same time you have to use formal language you have to use very formal language i'll read out some of the uh, what you can say some of the examples of how you can start here from the book itself hmm? when you have 
uh, when you get this book, you can just go through it once again. For example, you say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You start with greeting. You have to greet your audience when you are giving speech. Welcome to, for example, for example, I'll say welcome to SK Porwal College, Kamti, the name of my college. Thank you for giving me opportunity to talk to you today. Okay, so you have to start like this. I'm very happy to welcome you all here. So I'm going to, I'm Dr. Renuka Roy, Assistant Professor, Sid K. Srimal Porwal College, Kamti. I'm going to talk about some of the necessary issues today. So this is how you have to start your speech. You have to use the formal language while delivering your speech. I hope now it is clear. You understand what is, which kind of language we, are, we need to use. We do not, we are not expected to, to use informal language. We have to use formal language that we use while speaking. Let us move ahead. Now, at the beginning of your speech, you have to state the purpose of your speech. What we are going to talk today. As you know, for example, these, these are some of the expressions that has been used here. You can just see my presentation. As you know, the subject of my presentation today is environmental consciousness. So this will be your opening. Or you can say that I am here this morning today to talk about the uh, global warming, issue of global warming. Okay. Or my aim is to generate awareness about menace of using too much of plastic. The purpose of my talk today is to generate awareness of about COVID-19. In my presentation today, I'm going to talk about the activities undertaken by cultural department, cultural cell of this college. So this is how you have to stay. purpose my purpose today is to give a hearty uh, to extend a hearty welcome to all the respected dignitaries present today on this occasion so you have to make this kind of starting now if your speech is a little bit elaborate and you're going to deliver for five to seven minutes it is always better to give an outline of your speech to your audience. For example, you, you may say that I'm, I have divided my presentation in three parts. I have divided my speech into three parts. I'm going to talk about the, uh, this issue. I'm going to move on to that. And further, I'm going to brief this way. For example, you said, I will first talk about the importance of discipline. I will move on to discuss the pros and cons of not maintaining discipline in your life. And finally, I'll discuss about how we can dis discipline ourselves. For example, if a di dietitian is delivering a lecture, if a dietitian deliver a lecture about importance of proper diet, he'll say that I'll begin by stating some examples of what can be the health hazards of not maintaining proper diet. After that, who will say I'll deal with some of the uh, diseases that may occur, that may uh, that you may uh, experience or that you may suffer through because of wrong dietary pattern. And he may say that before we go on to conclude, let me now once again recap. So this is how you can give a kind of uh, entire, uh, what you can say, entire idea of outline of your speech. You can say that my speech has four parts. 
i will introduce you to this topic hmm? we will discuss about this we will learn about this and finally i'll conclude by giving these are some of the things that i have jotted down here and it is very much present in the text that you can meticulously uh, incorporate in your speech writing that you have to incorporate in your speech writing yes some of the speakers they are very uh, particular they are particular about the time frame that they are going to take Huh? their entire uh, what you can say plan is ready so they talk about they give some other preliminary informations like my presentation will take about half an hour hmm? so i don't mind uh, if i could uh, i uh, uh, with the questions after the talk okay you can put the questions after the talk hmm? or they say that i'll take 15 minutes so we have a question or answer we will deal with it after the presentation or some say that please feel free if you have any questions because my presentation is going to be very lengthy i'm going to talk about talk around 50 minutes 40 minutes so this is how they give the preliminary information now let us start with this now just have a look at this video huh? shall we begin with a story okay many a time teachers they start talking about some serious issue but they do not wish to start on the serious note so they start with some stories they use some anecdotes or they just play some music or run some video hmm. so that way you you can connect it this way let us now turn to this video let us now start with this presentation let us now see the small documentary movies hmm. so this is how you can just add your add it to your presentation and enrich it further aap usko add karte jaiye aur aap usko enrich kariye let me now go back briefly to the earlier point aise hum bolte hain ki chalo this point is clear now let us once again go back and just see how well we have uh, covered this point so this is how the speaker goes on giving the preliminary information and keep on elaborating yes at the time of giving your speech it is important to emphasize on important points that you you are going to drive home today for example we will take very current example like if you are a student of nss and you are going to give a kind of short speech on covid awareness or you are going to speech about talk about the social distancing that is the need of the hour today so at the end of the speech or in the beginning you may use such phrases or you may use such expressions that what me we must understand is we have to maintain social distance we have to maintain personal hygiene we have to sanitize ourselves over and over again hmm. what we must do to avoid this okay so you have to point out the important point that you wish to drive home through your speech aapko wo sare jo expressions hai usko apne speech mein har paragraph ke baad mein agar aap likhte ho to bhi acha hai hmm? you can write down after every paragraph if you could write down what you are, you wish to drive home so that it will be a kind of आप हर पैराग्राफ का उसमें एक जिस्ट लिख रहे हो कि दिस पैराग्राफ थ्रू दिस वी हैव ट्राइड टू ब्रिंग टू योर नोटिस द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्लांटिंग मोर एंड मोर ट्रीज सो ट्री प्लांटेशन कैन रियली हेल्प इन हैविंग हेल्दी एनवायरमेंट सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन एम्फोसाइज द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स इन दियर इन योर प्रेजेंटेशन it is absolutely plantation of tree is absolutely highly recommended activity for example this last week week it was the uh, what we can say birds that pakshi divas aisa kuch to bhi tha so it was written that birds are the uh, natural uh, preservers 
of the environment environment ko preserve karne wale hai so we must take care of the birds we must not hazard their life we we should not uh, create so much of radiation by overuse of mobile and internet so that birds life are in, uh, are under threat so ye sare jo point hai agar aap us vishay pe baat kar rahe ho to aap use point out karo you just point it out that it is urgently required to understand the need of the hour that if we save the environment we are ultimately saved hmm. our environment has to be taken care of hmm. human being cannot singularly progress the progress should be should be multi dimensional it should go hand in hand with the envi environmental friendly way so is tarah se aap kya kar sakte ho main point ko emphasize kar sakte ho apne speech mein beech beech mein hmm. this is how you have to do then as i have already talked in detail during the beginning of my presentation i'll once again draw your attention to this um, this slide of mine so how to catch the eye i have just given a photo how to draw the attention of your uh, of your listeners many a time even a very influential speaker very good speaker can sound monotonous <laughs> that way a very good speaker also can sound monotonous can, we we may the audience may feel distracted so use of screen drawing attention to some audio visual things can always regain the attention of your audience hamesha aapka audience ka attention fir se us taraf aa sakta hai so you can use these expressions i would like to draw your attention to my presentation i would like to draw your attention to this wonderful clipping i would like to show you some photographs of if we are talking about the birds like i just gave the example let like last week it was um, पक्षी दिवस था तो आप बोल सकते हो वी कैन आई जस्ट वांट टू ड्रॉ योर अटेंशन टू सम ऑफ द फोटोग्राफ्स सो दैट वी कैन सी हाउ रिच वी आर इन द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ वर्ड्स इन दिस एरिया ओके सो एज यू विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दीज आर द एक्सप्रेशंस एक्सप्रेशंस दैट वी कैन यूज इन योर स्पीच यू कैन मेक स्मॉल रिकमेंडेशंस like i strongly recommend that the student should not uh, make over use of mobiles and internet uh, and they should use it for some academic purpose for some useful activities instead of playing all those mobile games and uh, watching those videos so you have you can strongly recommend Mm. you say you say that i recommend that my recommendation is that instead of using plastic bags we must use jute bags and paper bags so you you can write down your recommendations like that recommendation matlab aap kya cheez ko wahan par samne bata rahe ho aapka kya kis cheez ki taraf kya bolte hain what you give preference to aap kis cheez ko pradhanya dete ho ka kaam to i really think believe we should hote hain i really think that we should do this hame aisa mujhe aisa lagta hai ki hame kya karna chahiye we should uh, concentrate more on the um, overall development of um, of of everyone we should strong, we should really no part about holistic development instead of only developing ourselves so this is how huh? छोटा सा क्वेश्चन पूछो यू जस्ट आस्क अ स्मॉल क्वेश्चन टू योर ऑडियंस and then you just ask them how would you would you solve this problem aap is solve problem ko kaise solve karoge can you think of any way of dealing with this issue aap is issue ke sath mein deal karne ke liye koi way think kar sakte ho kya can you have any uh, solution to this problem and then you can share some of your experiences and then you can say that i'm sure 
मेनी uh, हियर माइट हैव एक्सपीरियंस दिस मुझे पता है कि हम लोगों में से बहुत लोगों ने ये चीज यहाँ पर एक्सपीरियंस किया है एंड देन एनकरेज योर ऑडियंस टू गिव देर फीडबैक्स ओके आप ऑडियंस को एनकरेज कर सकते हो कैन यू शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस विथ मी ओके यू मस्ट ऑल बी अवेयर ऑफ वॉट इज है सो दिस सोल सर्चिंग क्वेश्चन कि आप सब जानते ही हो कि हम किस दौर से गुजर रहे हैं वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन Hmm, how we are going through this phase so you can use such expressions i hope you must know about the situation mujhe pata hai ki aap ye situation jante ho so these are some of the helmet ka nahi matlab that we may use in order to keep the audience in the okay गाड़ी To to sum sum up up the the main main point point of of my my presentation, presentation, you can summarize by saying to sum up the main points of my presentation, hmm? before I end my talk, I would like to summarize its main points. This is how you can summarize कि जैसे before I end my talk, let us see क्या once again, let us go in detail, let us see uh, go in brief what we had already seen. Hmm? Let us. Uh, run through my points or i would okay. like to conclude by saying you can say you may say i would like to conclude by saying hmm, or you may say i must thank you all for listening hmm, and thank you for your attention these are the expressions that you may use at the end of your presentation and before the end we must always remember that yeah. thank yeah. your organizers for giving the opportunity for example if you are uh, talking in some elocution competition during the cultural event of your college you thank the organizer thank the organizing committee of the elocution competition for extending this opportunity uh, whereby you could talk about uh, this topic. Yeah. if you are the uh, participant of a debate competition just in a fraction of a Second, you say that I uh, I thank the organizer for opportunity to me. So this is how you can uh, summarize or you can just come to the conclusion. It is always advisable to invite the questions. Your audience may have some queries that you may invite. So he can't. आप विचार ही कितने कि यू जस्ट आस्क देम टू आस्क यू क्वेश्चंस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस यू से प्लीज तो यार कितनी सीटी वाला है आस्क देम अगर आपके पास कोई क्वेश्चंस है तो आप प्लीज पूछिए इफ यू वांट टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चंस तो तेरा नहीं चाहिए प्राइस में भी कितनी फर्क है ये कितनी चे Hello, am I audible now? Hmm? A screen, some other screen is visible. Screen or no visible here?
And finally, before we end, uh, there are a few examples of uh, small presentations given in your uh, notebook, uh, in your textbook. I would love to read uh, some of the very good, what we can say, speeches so that you can have it as examples and you can study them further at home and uh, understand it. Uh, see, this presentation is about the uh, dangers and negative consequences of advertising which is available in your book, textbook, uh, named Epiphanies. I'm going through it. Hmm? Good afternoon, everyone. So the speaker has started by greeting the audience. Good afternoon, everyone. The purpose of my talk today is to discuss the adverse effects of advertisements. I believe advertisements are harmful because they force people to make choices and leave them unhappier than before. I will argue that people would lead happier lives if advertising are restricted. The first place, in the first place, advertising leads to choice overload, which forces people to constantly make choices between competing brands of products and services. Instead of empowering people, excessive choice serves to confuse people so that they are unable to decide on what to buy. Even if they finally make a decision, there is always the nagging satisfaction that they could have done better by buying another product. This could be because it is a few rupees cheaper or because friends have recommended it or there could be any other reason. I'm sure many of you here have experienced this. The newspapers and the streets of every city are full of advertisements which constantly bombard the public with their messages. This can be harmful. Many advertisements attempt to make people biased. For instance, fairness creams and so-called health salons give the message that dark-skinned people are very unattractive or that you must be pencil slim in order to be considered beautiful. Young people fall victim to this and sometimes at the cost of their psychological and physical well-being. I strongly feel that advertisers are only interested in profit. They do not care about well-being of society. Giant fast food chain advertise unhealthy products which contributes to obesity and other diseases like juvenile diabetes. Advertising has without doubt contributed to presenting people with too many choices that have done them no good. Now all of us know people cannot choose when they are constantly bombarded with larger than life images. In fact, they get brainwashed into believing that they are making choices. Advertisers spend money on market research not to find out what people desire, but to find out their weakness, weak spots. This is where they target their campaigns. They exploit the weakness of people. Do you think advertisers inform people about better products? Never. When they package their message with glossy pictures and honeyed words, they suppress the problem area. People fall prey to these gimmicks, only to free regret, feel regrets later on. So choices they pretend to give are really, really a sham. I conclude by saying with emphasis that advertise, advertising does more harm than good by catching unsuspecting people unawares. Thank you. If you have any question, please feel free to ask them. So this is one example, beautiful example of uh, a speech on abuses of advertising, advertising and its danger. And here there is another <laughs> example. Mr. Akbar, Abarasa, Madam, unmute. 
Hello. Yes. Here there is another example where you can find a model vote of thanks at the valedictory day function of a college. Come, come. Madam, it's a mute. Go to the. See one vote of thanks example of a form a model vote of thanks proposed at valedictory day function of the college. I'll read this out. This may be of great help to you, Madam President, Honorable Chief Guest, dignitaries on dais, respected teachers, students, representatives, and friends. See, at the very beginning, the speaker has addressed all the dignitaries one by one. Okay, a wonderful program has come to an end. Several persons have helped us make this valedictory function a successful one. So, moving on to before saying that I am going to propose a vote of thanks, he is making a kind of background. A background bana rahe hai. He is saying that wonderful program has come to an end, and several people have contributed to the success of this program. I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratefulness to all of them. So he says that this is the purpose. This is how he uh, talks about the purpose of his speech. What is the purpose? He says, I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratefulness, gratefulness, but not thankfulness to all of them, all the people who have contributed to the success of this program. The principal of a college, Dr. Ramadevi, has been the source of our strength. I thank her for presiding over this final event of college calendar. So he says, principal, first of all, the speaker thanks the hosts, main host of the program. On behalf of the students and staffs of a college, I express our gratitude to Mr. Mohan Reddy for his memorable valedictory speech. Following this, the speaker thanked the speaker of the program. Our thanks also go to Professor Malini, who gave away prizes to academic achievers. So, next, we thank the lady Malini for giving away the prizes. That another another guest. Madam, we promise to consider your suggestions for development of our college activity. I also thank the parents for our students, of our students who gave, who have graced this if event. So the guests or the speakers are thanked and followed by the speaker has also thanked the audience. We are grateful to our respective teachers who have guided us in many ways. And to all the student representatives, uh, representatives who have been active throughout this year and have worked tirelessly to make this function a success. Lastly, I thank all my friends for their full support throughout the year. I hope you have had a great evening and I wish you all the very best in the future endeavors. So, this is how the presenter had wonderfully presented a vote of thanks. Hmm. You have you can also write in the similar way using the examples in your text and there are some exercises given at the at the end of the text that can help you practice writing speeches well. Hmm. There are number of good websites where you can get model speeches. You can use them for writing your speeches and you can uh, you can just very nicely plan out a speech, write it down, practice it at home so that you can write well during your examination. Before we end, I would like to thank the organizer, uh, RS Munle Arts and Commerce College, uh, this uh, field forum. Uh, that has given me this opportunity to interact with the students uh, of BCom Semester 1 
on this very important issue writing speeches and uh, the book is really helpful for the students of become part one to know the elementary skills of writing speech and they should make use of this reading text is the main key to understand the language if you wish to understand the language and use of the language the only mantra is to read and read and read and write it down what you have understood at least write down gist of what you have learned so that way you may improve your language skill uh, madam manjushri madam are you there wish to ek to eta kore dao beta stop sharing kore dao madam are you there uh mr mukha mobile to da mr mobile de mute kor da madam mute kor da Hello. Hello, yes. everyone. Am I audible? Yes, yes, madam. You are audible. Audible. Uh, thank you, Renuka, ma'am. That was a wonderful, wonderful presentation. And uh, actually, you explained how to begin the letter, how to begin your speech, then what goes about in the middle, and what goes in the end. you gave the expressions which the students need to write and uh, the okay different different occasions where we need to use particular words so that was indeed a very great help and i think it will be very helpful for the students in the examination also thank you uh, thank you dr renuka for being here uh, and uh, uh, helping our students to understand how to write speeches so if the students have any difficulty they would write in the chat box thank okay. you very much ma'am for uh, once again for being here yes thank you thank for you. this opportunity yeah. thank you madam yes